Jason, always good to see you. Why don't we start with a stock I know you like. Walk us through Alphabet slash Google. Hey, good to be with you guys. Um, yeah, so look, this is probably pound for pound the best uh, technology company in the world. You know, they had a big quarter last uh, last quarter in the June quarter. That was in part because of they were lapping some easy comparisons in the prior year due to COVID. But look, this company continues to fire on all cylinders and it's really woven into the digital fabric of our lives. I think investors will be looking at obviously ad spend given what Snap said last week, although we think Google's going to be relatively immune to some of the problems Snap faced. But then of course, you know, YouTube with video is going to be important. Cloud is their kind of their number three business, if you will, third place in the market driving uh, I think a lot of optimism about Google over the next five years. So cloud's going to be something to watch. And then, of course, the regulatory landscape, which has likely been the factor holding this stock down on a relative valuation against the group, is something that investors will also key in on as well. Let's talk a little bit about uh, number two, and that would be Microsoft. Then we'll get uh, maybe to Twitter and a couple of others. Uh, Microsoft has been doing amazingly well in recent months. Yep. It really has. And, you know, this has uh, become basically a pure cloud play stock with Azure being firmly number two in the cloud market. And Satya Nadella has said himself that we're in the early innings of cloud adoption. We believe that. We've been owners of the stock since Nadella took over many years ago. And really the compounding fundamentals of this company has been something to watch, to be sure. So not only are they firing on all cylinders, a lot like Google, but in a very different way. But the stock is expensive, though. I mean, if you look at across the large cap tech, this is one of the more expensive in our portfolio. And I think unless they hit a pretty big Azure number in the report today and the whispers around 45 percent, the stock might struggle here. It's trying to break out, uh, but it is trading at around 34 times our estimates for earnings next year. Compare that to Google, which is about 24 times earnings with better growth. So Microsoft, great business, but a little bit extended potentially uh, at current levels. And what about Twitter, Jason? Where does it stand? Twitter's tough. You know, we owned it years ago and, and admittedly sold it too early. You know, they've been trying to figure out the uh, monetization of their ad business for some time. I mean, there's there's a lot of toxicity on Twitter that people try to avoid. Um, it, you know, that that's one that that we have not been able to solve for in terms of their ability to consistently monetize that platform in a way that's made us comfortable looking out two and three years down the road. The visibility for earnings there has been a challenge for us. So. Um, you know, I don't have a strong opinion on Twitter. We don't own it because we don't have that line of sight into their earnings like we do with the Microsoft and Alphabet. Should be interesting to see how their quarter flushes out as well. Probably more of a hit relative to what Snap experienced than, again, say, an Alphabet. Let's wrap it up with uh, two uh, companies that begin with the letter A. It's a letter A. It's a day. It's just like Sesame Street. Uh, Amazon. Hard to feel sorry for Amazon after all the stuff right. they've done, but they haven't exactly been knocking the cover off the ball. And uh, what's your thought on Apple? So wrap it up. Yeah, so Amazon, I think the, the expectations are pretty low going into the quarter. So we think the, the quarter relative to expectations will be pretty good. They had a, a bit of a step down last quarter that was uh, disappointing to investors. But we still like the dual secular growth story in e-commerce mm -hmm. and cloud. Looking at Apple, of course, this is a business that's in a super cycle with regards to iPhone. Meanwhile, software and services, higher margin business continues to contribute more to the to, to, to the company. And the stock is not terribly expensive, 25 times our estimates for profit going forward. So you can definitely own, own both of them for the long term. Would, yeah. Would you add to your holdings in both of them, uh, given what's what they've been through in their and their uh, relative values? It, yeah, if we were underweight both positions, we would add to them for sure. We are not underweight. We are overweight both positions. So we like where we are. If you don't own them and you're a long-term investor, you can definitely buy them here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.